Under the cover of darkness, Chile's National Monuments Authority began removing the statue of General Manuel Baquedano from the plaza that bears his name. It's a major landmark of Santiago, but when it became the epicenter of constant social protest 16 months ago, the battle for Baquedano was on. The War of the Pacific Hero was painted, ridden, and dressed up by protesters who've renamed the area Dignity Plaza. No amount of Special Forces police, water cannon, or tear gas could preserve his dignity. Indeed, there's a symbolic war between the old and the new order that has arose more than a year ago with the social uprising. In the last six months, Baquedano and his steed have been painted every color of the rainbow by day, just to be repainted a dignified black by night by authorities. There's something else very significant about this exact spot, and that is that it represents an invisible dividing line between uptown and downtown Santiago, between the wealthier and the poorer. And rightly or wrongly, many people seem to see General Baquedano as a symbol of someone who is trying to defend that division. But when he was set on fire last week and almost had his legs sawn off, authorities decided he had to be removed, sparking a fierce political controversy. We've just witnessed a capitulation. The general represents all Chileans, but the government has decided to remove him so that the vandals can continue destroying our civic centers. Using his statue to fly the indigenous Mapuche flag has even been described as heresy. But many others see it as an act of historic justice. He's a symbol of terrorism. He massacred the Mapuche in southern Chile. Just to have Bacadano occupying this space is violent. The National Monuments Council says the two-ton statue is being taken away for repairs for at least a year an image that represents General Baquedano's first major defeat, or at the very least, a tactical retreat. Lucia Newman, Al Jazeera, Santiago.